Hi everyone, this is Ginger with Gingerberry Creek and today's tutorial is going to explain and show you how we do whiskers uh, on your primitive doll. So like a cat like this or in this case I'm going to be uh, putting whiskers on this bunny. So I wanted to bring this technique to you and show you how we go about that. So you'll need your fin item at the uh, finished and ready to put the whiskers on. Uh, you'll also need your pattern. It'll show you uh, the placement of where the whiskers go on each side. So you'll have to have that handy. You'll need some upholstery thread. Uh, the reason why I like using the upholstery thread is because it's kind of wiry like whiskers, a little thicker than regular thread or even embroidery thread. So that is why I like using it. They, they're a little stiffer uh, once you get it done, so it's more like what whiskers would be. So you'll need your upholstery thread, and then you're going to need your pair of scissors and a, and a needle or two like that. So what you'll need to do is cut some of your upholstery thread off. Uh, give yourself a good amount and just cut that off. And then you see how like when it comes off of the spool it's all like uh, kind of wound in little circles. Well I'm going to show you how what you can do to straighten all of this out. Uh, it's really simple. We're just going to take it to the ironing board and we're going to iron it straight. So let's go to the ironing board and I'll show you how to straighten the, uh, the upholstery thread before you start working with it. So here I am over at my uh, ironing board and here is the thread that I had cut off and it's all uh, wound up because it came off of the spool. So the best way to deal with this is to go ahead and I like to grab one end of it here. And I'm using this darker background so that you can see the thread a little easier. So I'm going to grab my iron and I'm going to just iron it straight. So I'm going to get one end of it going. And I'm going to kind of turn it around and I'm going to set my iron on here and then I'm just going to slowly pull the thread so that it's under the iron. I'm just pulling it slowly as it irons straight. I haven't lifted up yet on my thread so just keep pulling on it till you've ironed all of it. Just keep pulling there I'm almost done there we go so now I'm done I'm gonna set my iron off to the side and now when I lay it you can see that it's all nice and straight much easier to work with when it's nice and straight like that so uh, just easier to work with makes uh, the process a lot simpler than when it's all wound up from being on the spool. So now let's go back over to the uh, table and I'll show you how to attach. All right, so we're back over at the table and now it's time to go ahead and uh, make these whiskers. I You need to thread your needle with the upholstery thread that you um, ironed just a minute ago so that it's nice and straight. You go ahead and thread it, but do not uh, leave this end, this one end here unknotted and this other end also unknotted. So both ends do not put a knot in them. We're just going to leave it. And so now what you're going to do is again you'll need your pattern to refer to. So my pattern shows the three of them right here so it's just like a little triangle shape so I'm going to there's two techniques that you can do I'm going to show you one and then I'll show you the second one 
So I've got my needle threaded with my upholstery thread that I've ironed so it's nice and straight. And now I am going to go in and get kind of catch about, I don't know, 1 16th of the fabric right there. And then I'm going to pull my needle through and pull this down until I have uh, a couple inches on both sides here. So now I'm going to kind of pull it down like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and clip my thread. So now it's in the fabric kind of like that. All right. Now what you need to do is you need to knot this off. So we're going to put we're going to tie and then I'm going to make another knot in in it. So two knots will hold it in place. So that's one whisker placement. And don't worry about these uh, this the threads kind of going all over the place. What you can do is after you get both sides done, you can take it back to the iron and just iron these so that they they're nice and flat and they stick out straight. So let's do that again. I'm going to take my thread. It's still got uh, the upholstery. My needle still has the upholstery thread on here. So now I'm going to do another one just below this one because it's a little triangle like what's on the pattern. I'm going to go in and catch about 1 16th of this fabric here. Not a whole lot, just a, a little section like that. Pull my thread Then I'm going to gather my two threads together here. And leave a couple inches on each side. I'm going to just cut these. That way you can trim them down, all down at the same time later. And now I'm just going to put a knot in it. Tie it nice and tight to the face. And then make another knot in it. So double knot each one. So there we go. Now you see it, it does want to stick out everywhere but that's okay just like with ironing it before to work with it you can iron it after you're all done. So again let's make the third whisker on this side. So now I've got those two. I'm going to just kind of move those out of the way. And I'm going to go in back here so it makes it a little triangle. There we go. I'm going to catch a little bit of the fabric there. Pull it through. And then I'm going to I'll leave a couple of inches, about two or three inches on each side there. So it's like that. And now I'm going to tie this. So I'm going to do a double knot again. I'm going to tie it down. And then I'm going to make another knot. So those are the three whiskers for this side of the face. So then I would do that exact same thing and uh, do it over here on this side as well. Then after I'm done, I'll uh, show you how you uh, can iron these down to make them nice and straight. Once you have both sides done and ironed down, then you will clip them to you know just pass the face here and then they will spread out just like whiskers so finish up this side uh, I'm gonna finish up this side 
and then I'll show you the steps afterwards. I also want to show you a second technique that I figured out, but let's finish this one up first and then we'll move on to the second type or technique for doing whiskers. All right, I have shown you how to do this side of the whiskers and then I finished up on this side of the whiskers so this side of the face now is done too so now what we're gonna do is take this um, over to the ironing board and iron these a little straighter so then we can clip those uh, whiskers so let's go over to the ironing board and I'll show you how you just iron them uh, straight again okay so here I am so his whiskers are all over the place and uh, just like before when you ironed the thread before to work with it we're just gonna iron it right now uh, so gather them up like that make sure you have all of the threads Hang on to them out here and then grab your iron and kind of put steam over it. You can see how then they straighten up again. Just like that. Oops, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> so we're going to. Now I'm going to do this side, gather them up, and then just run the iron over it. It steams, and there they are, nice and straight. While I'm here at the ironing board and they're nice and straight, I'm going to go ahead and now I'm going to cut them down to size. So, I'm going to gather all of the threads together I like them to be a little bit past the side of the head so I'm just gonna gather them all together kinda see where I want and then just clip them and so now that side is done and they stick out really nice so I'm gonna go ahead and now do this side turn it so I can um, got them all gathered up and if you wanted to you could measure this side make sure that they're the same I just kind of eyeball it there we go so now his whiskers are all nice and straight and done so this is the first technique on how to do the whiskers that you'll find in the gingerberry creek patterns but there's a second technique that I want to show you so let's go back to the table and I'll show you the second technique okay so we're back at the table here and now here's a bunny that I have another one and so now with this technique what you want to do is have a long doll needle and you want to put your thread on it fold it over fold the threads over um, you know so you have the tails here at the end line them up so there there you can see that right there so these are the tails down here and then about let's see I don't know I think about yeah about two inches down is where you want to tie take the two threads and tie a knot okay so there's my loop and my two threads are together I'm gonna tie a knot right so that's a little bit longer than the, the two inches, but that's okay. You can always um, clip them down afterwards. So here's my knot. So now, and then at the other end here, I have my needle. All right. 
So this time, uh, I'm going to go in from the front at the uh, whisker placement. All right. So I'm going to push my needle in to the front where I want that first whisker at. And I'm going to push it through and I'm going to flip this over and come out down here along this slit. And I'm going to pull. I'm going to turn my bunny back over. I'm going to pull this down. Now, if you get a loop in the, in the thread, that's okay. Just kind of straighten it up and pull it. So now, this knot is on the front, and they're nice and straight already, just like that. So then what you'll do is flip it back over. You'll need to kind of about two inches out, cut, all right, and just leave those threads like they are for right now, okay? Now, what you're going to do is we're going to put another knot in the end of these threads here. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to make a loop. And uh, make a knot in the thread again. All right, so there's my knot right there. And then my threads are, are the the two tails are right there okay and then at the other end is my needle again so this time we're gonna flip this back over and now we're gonna go just below this knot we're gonna or to to the right of it or if you're looking at it this way here's that first knot we're going to go just below it, about a quarter inch, and we're going to push into the fabric again, and then come out right next to these other threads that we have waiting. Okay, so I'm going to come out like that. I'm going to turn it back over and watch, make sure I get this right and straighten up that extra thread there that little loop there we go and pull it down tight like that so now we've got the the two placements there done I'm gonna flip this back over and now I'm gonna cut this again to the length of what these other ones were and then I'm gonna take these And I'm going to tie both these together, just like this. I'm going to do a double knot. There we go. So now it looks like he's got whiskers on his back, but he doesn't. He's not going to. So now I'm going to take another needle that I have. I'm going to gather all these together. And I'm going to thread uh, those onto this needle. Just like that. I'm going to thread those on. Pull that down. So now they're threaded onto this needle. And now I'm going to hide these threads. So you're going to put it put the needle back into the fabric next to where the knot is and then push you know that's about an inch out I'm gonna push that through and grab that and then tug it should uh, kind of snap under the fabric and then I'm gonna grab these and snip these off so now they're underneath the fabric hidden and on the front side, they are, these are the whiskers. So then you would finish up doing that third spot here and then do the other three on this side. 
the same way so you do this one at this uh, third one leave the threads like before and then come over here and do one and then you tie those two together and come out and then you do the last two spots the same way until you got all of them done and then again you could take this to the iron and iron it and then clip them down to the length that you wanted them so um, let me show you again there's my one bunny I'll finish them up but here's what they would look like when they're all done after you have them done either way either technique or the way you want to do it whichever is easiest for you I just wanted to share both ways of doing that uh, in the pattern in my pattern it'll tell you to do it this first way but you're more than welcome to try it the second way and see which way you like better thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and be sure to watch some of my others and I'll see you again. Bye.